tonight on channel 442 News, we'll be discussing how information technologies has changed our working lives. Now in today's world, it seems like everybody has a cell phone or a laptop, and along with these new gadgets came text messaging, uh, all sorts of instant messaging and emails. In fact, in developed nations, the number of cell phones per citizen is approaching 1.2. This means that one in every five person carry around an extra cell phone to facilitate additional communications between additional sets of people. Uh, now, one of the biggest driving factors behind such prevalence of cell phones uh, and laptop is one of the easiest communication. Uh, traditionally, to communicate, uh, you would need to have you would need to be within the audible range of the other person. But now, with the advent of text messaging, I can talk to someone who is quite literally on the opposite side of the planet. The sheer number of text messages sent per month shows how popular this method of communication really is. In 2008, over 7, 70 billion text messages were sent every month in the U.S. Uh, besides recreational use, the new form of communication offers a huge improvement to our working lives as well. For example, setting up meetings at work has never been easier uh, with many calendar apps. Uh, less time is spent walking in between people, uh, asking for availability, uh, and more time is allocated to more productive tasks. Uh, so finally, social media. Uh, there's a dr big driving factor again of news and new information technology. Websites like Facebook, uh, Twitter has allowed many people to connect together to form discussion groups uh, and instantly share their thoughts. Uh, it can also be used as an instant messaging platform uh, to set up meetings, quick informal discussions, and sharing information on the internet. Finally, something I'm sure every one of you have used, uh, emails have increased our workplace efficiency tremendously. Through emails, I can instantaneously send someone information and discuss a, and expect a reply almost instantly. Now, traditionally, a mail through the Pacific Ocean will probably take weeks at best. With all these types of communication, efficiency is certainly improved. Everything can be done faster, easier, and basically anywhere with the help of these new technologies. Take email. As Stephen mentioned earlier, it could take up to tw a week to send it depending on where it goes. This costs an average of 54 cents per letter in the US. Now, emails with 150 trillion messages sent were done instantly and no cost was implicated. Spreadsheets also cut back on time reducing the amount of time to do simple calculations. For example, if you have a standard calculator and you want to do some adding, even though it's really easy to do adding, it's going to take you some time. Spreadsheets can be literally do thousands of calculations in just one pull of a mouse. Furthermore, there's templates that can eliminate legwork, and so documents and Excel spreadsheets can be created basically instantly. Review times and spelling errors can also be drastically reduced. This is due to the fact that programs automatically catch errors and people can simultaneously edit the same document or same file from anywhere. Even routine tasks such as paying workers or transferring money to a client can be done instantly with e-transfers and no need for you to go to the physical bank. It also allows companies to create websites. This way, clients can find the company they need, and even workers can find job postings. This also helps the companies as well as they get their clients without doing any very much work. Best of all, with all these efficient technologies, they can be done from anywhere. In the GTA alone, most people spend about 45 minutes commuting each day. This waste of time can now be maximized by using your cell phone, laptop, or any other device to do any work anywhere, any place. Now this is all because of technology. Where time is money, efficiency can put more enjoyment as, into work, as Jordan will explain so in our next thing. We briefly discussed how IT has been improving the efficiency of the working lives of our generation. In my session, I want to discuss how IT can be used to make people enjoy their work. According to the recent survey measuring employee stress level in US, 41% of workers report that they are currently stressed out during the workday and these workers also reported that workplace stress often negatively impacts their job performance. In order to make this workplace stress disappear, many of the workers are dependent on information technology, whether it is used as an entertainment source, such as listening to music while working, or improving the general work experience um, by having technology that makes work less frustrating and more appealing. IT can simply make jobs easier and employees happier because 
IT can turn the most tedious task into a task that simply solves itself by clicking of a button. Otherwise, the world without IT is a miserable workplace where you might have to personally visit every person at your work, letting them know where the department lunch will take in place. Is it? And now for the weather. As you can see, it's another cold day in Waterloo. But more importantly, our working lives just wouldn't be the same without easy access to the resources that IT provides. Resources have become so integrated into our lives that sometimes we don't even realize we're using it. Almost nothing is unknown now thanks to powerful search engines such, like, such as Google and huge information databases like Wikipedia. Just some stats. On a monthly basis, there are over 12 billion Google searches and 1.2 unique um, searchers. Moreover, Wikipedia has roughly 35 million pages and 24 million registered users. And the fact that these statistics were obtained using Google and Wikipedia reinforces our argument. Also, the resources provided by the advancements in IT are not only limited to obtaining unknown information, but it can be used to provide insightful ideas worth sharing. For example, there are over 1,900 TED Talk videos, and these videos are used to stir curiosity, spark deep conversations, and inspire our people. Thank you. Thanks to the continuous advance in uh, information technology, it keeps on improving our means of uh, communication. It provides more uh, resources than we ever uh, need before. And lastly, it also imp greatly improves our working lives. Um, information technology uh, related products are so good and they are integrated into most of our daily electronics. Elect uh, so information technology is always uh, everywhere and so responsive. It can reduce uh, noticeable amount of uh, human errors. The most frequently used information technology product is uh, autocorrect or spell check. Spell check software typically checks every single word seamlessly. Sometimes people might claim autocorrection might not be the most reliable even though it's uh, so good already. However, the in uh, benefit of information technology is not limited to just that. Some software allow users to share their work over the internet, so it's easier to send uh, information for peer editing and review. One example to this is the GitHub software repository. Um, the GitHub offers a platform to store programming code online in which the fellow programmers can get access to in order to modify or correct their work. Information technology can also reduce or even eliminate uh, plagiarism. Uh, one example to this is the Turnitin. I, I believe many of us have used it already. It's the most widely used plagiarism detecting software. It has a database uh, that contains 45 billion web pages and hundreds of million students' uh, papers and articles. Thanks to the power of information technology, Turnitin is able to uh, perform those tasks with ease. Secondly, anti-plagiarism software also subconsciously discourages people from uh, plagiarizing. The psychological barrier of anti-plagiarism is argu argu uh, arguably more effective because associated people will always, uh, will always be under pressure by introducing such software in the uh, work system. Anti-plagiarism software can ensure the originality of written intellectual properties. Hence, it improves both the quality of work and the quality of people. Oh man, it's going to be a busy day. Man, it's a nice day to walk to work. Might as well pay some clients on the way. I know the way to the door. I wonder what that is. Oh, okay. still wait again? Nice. Thank God for autocorrect. Where's your files? You know what? I got them on my computer. Thank God for technology.